Spray and pray. Spray and pray! I found my class. I found my perfect class. What's going on everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler Rooney here, and today I'm going to be playing a game called Easy Red 2. Now this is a kind of a World War 2 simulation uh, FPS uh, sort of thing, and it's, it's, it's made by a very, very small uh, development team. I believe I covered the first Easy Red on the channel maybe a year or two ago. Uh, this was released in the latter part of 2020 and um, I, I, I've I just only now got around to playing it. So this is, it retails I think for like 7 Canadian dollars, so that's about 5 US dollars. Uh, and you get what could be an extremely good game, I guess we're going to find out. Uh, there's even a roadmap as this is in early access. So there's plan features, uh, there's bugs that they're going to be working on. Uh, I, I, I won't go over all of this. Uh, multiplayer is in development for the game. So for now, it's just a single player. And there's a couple of campaigns. So we could do virtual training. And there's also the Battle of Anzio and the Battle of Wajalian. Wajalian? Uh So you've got one in uh, the Western Theatre and one in the Eastern Theatre of World War II. And there's also a mission editor if you're into that too. So there's the, <laughs> for, for a few bucks, I, I, I'm pretty impressed already that, that, that this, is a, this, this is a thing. Let's try the training, shall we? I'll just try the basic infantry training. We'll just we'll just give that a go. See what it looks like. I'll take Welcome the lead to Easy Red 2, the simulator that aims to recreate the real tactics and dynamics of a battlefield. There you go. Also, if you're new around here, why not click on that subscribe button? Or, uh, if you're feeling generous, leave a like and a comment. What's your favourite type of tea? So it, it plays like every other FPS game I think like ever made. Here we're going to see how great my accuracy is. Now, I'm not really known for my skills at FPSs. Okay. There we go. Damn it. I missed one. I missed one. Gosh, gibbly frickity darn. Got it. I to open inventory. Then we have items. An Enfield scope. We will install attachment. Okay, sir. I will do that. Oh. This is very nice. Oh, I like a scope. That makes things much easier. Yeah. There we are. <gasps> you can zoom in even more. Um, unfortunately, I don't speak. Is that Italian? Metro Miri per Tritino is il speralio. I, I, I shot the wrong one. Only I could somehow mess up a tutorial, I think. Grenade! Did I get it? Oh, for God's sake. Well done. Oh. Let's move on. All right. Our great simulation engine has generated an anti-tank weapon <gasps> and assigned it to you. Oh! Tanks are precious. Yeah. But they have laws. Also keep in mind that too high an angle of impact makes penetration more difficult and could cause a bullet to ricochet. Uh, uh, uh. Target All right, I'm done with the tutorial. Throw me into the game. I'm ready, Easy Red. Give it to me. Battle for Anzio. And there's various scenarios that you can do. So we'll do the Shores of Neptuno. We can actually play from the German perspective too. So you can actually pick. Wow. Okay. Let's actually play as the US. And we'll just see how we get on. 22nd of January, 1944. Your orders are to break through the enemy lines. You are not expected to survive. Well, why in the hell am I doing it then? Oh dear. Oh great. Okay, great. This is fine. This is totally fine. My squad is set to follow. I don't know how to order, but that's fine. We're just going to jump on in, have a rollicking good time. Is that some Scots? Is that the Scot uh, Scottish division? Oh, hey! Okay. Charge! Ha! Huh. That didn't really go to plan, did it? Um, let's be the marksman this time. How embarrassing was that? Oh my god. Take two. Um, I'm not the squad leader this time, so maybe I won't just get shot straight away. I'm the marksman. Which I probably shouldn't be either. Oh my god, don't push me! Don't just stand there, men! Oh my god. Where'd the enemy? Did I get him? I got, a, I got one, I got one, I got one. Did I get a kill? I think I got. I think I got one. I think I. I we, we got one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, slow and steady. Okay, just keep moving. Just keep moving. 
I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Oh my god. Stop the bleeding. Stop the bleeding. Oh, Harold. Well, still not going very well, is it? Okay, now we're Carl in the same position. Uh, oh, Carl. Let's reload. Um, oh dear, there's my there's my previous dead body. So it's quite cool that the battle is happening all around us and we're just trying to... Well, you're a squad, right? Squad gameplay. It's like an open world Call of Duty in a way. I think that was friendly fire then, wasn't it? I just got blasted by friendly fire. My accuracy knows no bounds. I think I got one. You're surrendering. What do I do? They both surrendered. So does that mean we win? <laughs> I really am a terrible shot. It's quite chaotic. Uh, at least I know where to attack. That's my my objectives down there. Did I get one? I got one. It doesn't tell you when you hit them or not. So I guess that's it's it's trying to make it more of a simulation than a than a, just like a World War Two just just a, a generic FPS, which I which I can respect, you know. Okay, if I hide behind this tent, they'll never see me. Oh no, he's seen me. Oh, what the frick? How many young men am I gonna lead to my death, to their death? I don't know how to deploy this accurately, so I'm just gonna shoot from the hip. This can only go well. I've played FPSs before, but I'm gonna give this everything I've got. I've been watching a lot of triple jump recently. Is it triple jump? Okay. Spray and pray! Oh, he surrendered. I'll join you in here. Spray and pray. Spray and pray! I found my class. I found my perfect class. Spray and pray! I've Okay, this is... Nice. It just works. I almost shot the guy that just surrendered there. That would have been bad. Spray and pray! Oh no. Everything's fine with spraying and praying until you have to reload. Okay, move and hold. Okay, we've got another place to attack. An open field. Oh my god. These defensive terrain that- oh look at that castle in there. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, just the, this kind of terrain is, it would be horrible to assault. But we go. We go forth and we're gonna conquer I think this uh, next point. Alright Thomas. Ah! What the heck? Sir? Sir. Ah! Okay, we had a new squad spawn. Very nice. Running through some woods. I think the Germans are retreating. We've got them on the run! We've got the Huns on the run! Let's stop my bleeding. Hello. Uh, you're not concerned about hitting me at all, are you, sir? Well, we can't have that now. Where are the Germans? Bring them to me! I've got some spraying and praying to do. There's one. Oh, he surrendered, he surrendered. Balls! I called an airstrike over there by accident. <laughs> this game, I think for, what, five US dollars or maybe six US dollars, it's really good. And if they're just going to be adding continuous support to the game, then, like, I'll leave a link to the to the Steam page in the description. Like, I, I would encourage you to check this out because it's... It's certainly a solid experience if you're just looking for like a simulation, uh, you know, something you could just jump into for half an hour. It's really solid. I'm trying to be sneaky. Will this work? Who knows? Oh, got him. I, you, you all saw that, right? There we go. Oh, Paul just, Paul just went in spraying and... Ah, oh, they've copied my tactic. They know what to do now. They also know how to spray and pray. Excuse me? There's no radar in this either, so you, you do not know where the enemies are going to be coming from. Oh my god, what? Watch my fire. He was a German. Oh no, they're right there. They're literally right there. Ooh. Oh god. Got one. How am I not dead? How, how, how is that accuracy as poor as mine? Nay! Worse. I think their accuracy is worse than mine. Look at that. See? Look at that. Perfect. Perfect accuracy. Never mind. I'm dead. The recoil is also uh, really good too. So there's all of our fleet. We're kind of working our way around. Kind of clearing out things as we go, right? 
Oh, shit! Okay, easy, easy. Steady as she goes, Alex. It took a whole clip, but I got him. Oh, no. Sir. Oh, my goodly goo. I don't have any... I'm going to bleed out. I'm going to bleed out. I don't have any bandages. I'm just going to die. <laughs> wow, I'm, I was a pretty old soldier there. Thomas Patterson. 1897. I'm almost 50. <sighs> Is it time to spray and pray? Never mind. I'm under fire. Grenade. So am I, mate. I'd say, could you get out of my way, sir? I'm trying to... Oh my giddly goo. Uh, did I call for an artillery strike in the wrong place? Probably. Oh my god, they, the ships actually fire over. That's so cool. I mean, I'm probably about to get hit here, but... Yes, I got hit by my own artillery. Sorry, Mr. Burns. You're dead. There's no full damage that I can tell. I mean, maybe if I went up here and then dropped all the way down, I'd break my legs. Who knows? I could probably just ba bandage myself together. Oh, hey, we did it. The shores of uh, Netuno. Victory. Woohoo. Oh, dear. We had a little more casualties. We took 14 prisoners. Nice. I think we'll try one more scenario because this was really fun. Let's go to the battle for Kawajilan. Uh, the beachhead. Let's let's play this from the Japanese perspective. Bam. Let's give this one a go. Set in 1944, January 31st. Your orders are to repel the enemy attack. You are not expected to survive. Infantry fire, fire team. Give me a heavy MG. Here we go. Defend the marked area. Oh, I think that symbol is just for allies. It's not Scottish. Sorry, I got that completely wrong. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so the Americans are coming in on their uh, on their boats here. Oh my gosh. Sorry, it froze. I don't know if that's my computer or... I'm already bleeding. Wow. The Americans are thrusting in and I am dying. Spray and pray. We're doing a good job here, aren't we? Or what? Wannabe. Wantabi. See? And then you can see, like, if I... Can I, can I have that gun, please, actually? Sir. Sir. Can I, can I have that? Sir. Sir, please. This is really fun. I, 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 I know I'm saying this a lot, but this is, uh, for, uh, for a several dollar game, it's really good. <gasps> okay, we've got this new position here. Yeah, we got one. Look, look at the physics on those flowers. Look at that. That's 2021, ladies and gentlemen. Believe it or not, I am actually trying. Oh, there we go. One kill per clip is sustainable, right? Oh, he didn't even go down. I imagine Matt is going to be zooming in <laughs> at every single shot I take and just seeing me fail. <laughs> he didn't go down. Die! Sir! No! <laughs> oh, no! Help. I may have got blown up. I'm already bleeding out. Oh no. Okay. This scenario is freezing a fair amount. And I don't know if it's because it's my computer doing this or the game. Oh my god. I was 69 defend attackers left. Giggity giggity goo. They can't just let me have any fun, can they? Yeah, you can see those destroyers or uh, crews. I'm not really sure what ship they are. Like, firing in. It's, it's really quite scary. It freezes every time I'm about to shoot! It's the it's whenever the artillery is about to fire, the game freezes. Okay, so there are bugs to be ironed out, of course, but... Uh, this is so... This is actually... It's intense. Especially when it freezes like that. I think they're trying to home in on my position. I'm out of, I'm out of ammo. Melee! Ah! I think they're going to take the beachhead. Steady. I missed. Steady. Missed again. Steady. Reload. Got one. He didn't go down. Oh my god, the Americans take two shots. Unless I probably shoot them in the head. Bleeding out from my... 
Well, I'm certainly dying a lot more in this scenario. Who would have thought defending a beachhead would be tricky? Hey, who would have thunk that? Okay, in you go, chaps. I'm going to chill here and uh, take them out piecemeal. They're out of sight. There we go. Yes, they're getting... Yes! Damn it! Oh, that guy is so lucky that I have to reload right now. You're so lucky, sir. Oh, no. They're, oh, no. They're coming up here now. They've flanked me. I'm actually enjoying this more than some Call of Duty games. I think I found my calling, though, as a sniper. As long as they don't spot me, they can't get me. Okay, then. Sir. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You can see the shells come in now. It's really awesome. Then the game isn't freezing anymore, so that's that appears to have sold itself. There's another landing craft coming in though. I wonder if I've been marked. Yes, I've definitely been I was definitely marked. <laughs> Jeez. God, that is heat seeking artillery, isn't it? How many bombardments have we taken on this beach? They've only got fifteen attackers left though, so if we can hold out for just like a minute Ah Oh my god. Son of a gun. I just need to get onto that machine gun. Here we go. No! Spray and pray time. Ba ba da ba 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 ba. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know if this is decent commentary or not. I obviously. You can tell I don't play this kind of game very. Uh, oh my. Very often. There's three attackers left. There's one there. Spray and pray! Why didn't I play the tutorial until it got to the melee section? Why? The artillery is just absolutely insane. The amount of artillery that they're, that they're just throwing against me. How are they? How are they? How are they have a, how they haven't run out of ammunition yet? I have no idea. Yep. We won anyway. We won anyway. Okay. I think I accounted for at least 50% of those casualties, didn't I? That's horrible. Well, there we go. You get a taste of what Easy Red 2 is like. I personally think it's great fun, and I would heartily recommend it. Uh, there are multiple more scenarios that I could go through, but if you can, do pick it up and give it a try. Um, that's not sponsored, by the way. This is just a personal endorsement. I, I think that supporting small developers... Uh, with projects like these is, is is a good thing to do. I would heartily recommend Easy Red 2. It's good fun. Uh, you know what you're getting. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this absolute <laughs> travesty of gameplay from my perspective, not the game, please do comment, like, subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos uh, very soon. Take care. Toodaloo. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Kobe Dennis, Zachariah Mosby, Chancellor64, Brandon Preston, Tad House, Vac, Warren P. George, Valhalla Halls, Yeah Boy, Jack Troku, Jiggly Crotch, Logan Whaley, and Use Beef for being ridiculous rounder supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too! Wah! One take Rambler.